What's up? I am Meg the Colorful Minimalist from MegFort.com and here are 21 ways to minimalism in 2021. Real quick before I go any further, please like this video and subscribe to my channel for more minimalist content. Click the little notification bell, ding ding, to get a notification every time I come out with a new video and come and find me on my blog, MegFort.com. Let's get started. Let's start off this video with my personal philosophy towards minimalism and really simplifying your life. So I think that minimalism welcomes peace and banishes clutter, whether it be physical, mental, or spiritual. And therefore, this helps me live a less stressed existence and therefore encourages going outside and exploring this world, traveling and having family adventures. That's what this whole thing is about. And that's what I want my life to look like. So here are 21 ways to do that. Number one, say yes to life and say no to somebody today. <laughs> Simplifying your life means you are eliminating what doesn't matter. So start saying yes to opportunities, to people inviting you places and say no while you are setting your boundaries. This takes a lot of time to sort of uh, find where you want your boundaries to be, especially with certain people, and then how you want to live your life. Maybe someone keeps inviting you to parties, you have so much social anxiety, and that does not sound fun to you. For me, I know that I'm a social person, and it's really easy for me to say no, because, oh, I could just be doing something else, I wanna stay productive, but I know that I'm gonna love going to a party, I'm gonna love interacting with people, I need to start saying yes, even if I feel a little bit anxious about going, not knowing people, I know that that's going to make me happy. I know that that's gonna fill my soul with joy. Say yes. Number two, edit your closets. You need to create a capsule wardrobe. I have a ton of videos on this. Go to my channel, go explore around, take a look around, open doors, click videos, and find all the videos about your wardrobe, your closet, minimalism, how to create a capsule wardrobe, break it down, make it really simple so that you can edit your closet, you open it, you love everything that's inside of there, you love how everything fits, you love how you look in every piece of clothing, it's gonna make getting dressed in the morning a breeze. Simplify your life. Number three, edit your drawers. When you have these secret junk drawers, it really is an emotional load and it really does add to stress. There's countless studies about how clutter adds to your stress, whether it be subconsciously in the back of your mind or in the front of your mind when you open that drawer and you see, edit all your drawers. This means your underwear drawer, your kitchen drawers. <laughs> everywhere edit your drawers and it's okay to have empty drawers in your life I'm giving you permission to have empty drawers in your house number four plan your meals especially if you have a family and you are busy and you are working plan your meals you can plan them on Sunday and then do groceries that day or Monday morning or plan them for a whole month if you want to be ambitious so that you know what's coming up you know what groceries to do and what to cook simplify your life Number five is enjoy the food. This is something that I think a lot of us miss and for me who's like a multitasker, I really had to learn this. Put your phone down, turn off the screens and savor your food. Simplifying your life means enjoying your life and savoring your food, the, the taste, the spices, the consistencies, oh, how it just, runs endorphins through your body, savor your food, learn to enjoy your food. Number six, eliminate clutter in your home. Start with big items and I like to start in the kitchen. So it helps to eliminate furniture. First of all, go through your house and we you using that desk. Are we using that chair? No, gone, donate. Number seven is eliminate clutter in each and every room. I like to start in the kitchen because I feel like that's the room that gets used the most, but you can start in any room. Maybe your bedroom is where you wanna get started and start from corner to corner. So start from one corner and move all the way to the other corner and then go to the other corner and move all the way to the other corner. Pick up anything that is not serving you that you haven't used in a long time. Maybe you're keeping something for solely uh, sentimental value and you're like, why do I even have this? Take a picture of it, keep it digi digitally, and put it in a box to donate so it can serve someone else. Number eight, take steps to eat healthier. We all know that things that come from the earth are healthy, fruits, vegetables, and nuts, so take steps to eat healthier. And watch your philosophy behind this. So don't start eating healthy because you wanna look like someone or look a certain way. 
eat healthy for you. Think of it as better fuel for the gift of the body that you live in. Number nine, learn how to manage your stress, not disassociate from it, because we're all really good at that. We're all really good at scrolling and distracting ourselves, but find a way of dealing with your stress and to decompress at the end of the day that doesn't involve disassociating with reality, and that includes mindless scrolling, it includes um, excessive alcohol, things like that. Find a new way to manage your stress. Um, here's some ideas, um, baking, painting, those adult coloring books are really fun. Uh, knitting, planting, journaling. Um, for me, I really like to go to the batting cages and like something physical where you just get to like, ugh, like let it out. That's a great way that doesn't involve disassociation. Number 10, create a morning routine. This doesn't have to be something crazy and excessive, but create a morning routine that includes at least two things that will help you be a better person in a year or two or in a month. Number 11, create an evening routine, which means turn off your phone at eight o'clock, maybe do some like light yoga stretching and a meditation at the end of the day or read a couple of pages in a book that you really like. Create an evening routine that's going to promote sleep and not disassociation. Number 12, learn to do nothing. Learn to be able to sit and watch a sunset or watch a sunrise or watch the birds outside or just bask in the sunlight. It really helps to declutter your mind when it's not constantly distracted and entertained. Mental minimalism. Number 13, declutter your digital world. This means empty your inbox, delete all those old apps you're not using, unsubscribe from all those email lists that you've been on for a year that you always delete when they show up in your inbox anyway. Number 14, create some sort of cleaning schedule that involves other people. So this may involve your children or your partner or your roommates, but create a cleaning schedule that everyone can agree on so that you don't take on the full emotional load and physical load. And if you're not taking on any load in the place that you are living, maybe it's time to talk to this other person and volunteer to sort of share the load and create a cleaning schedule. Number 15, this is one of my favorite ways uh, to simplify your life, is to use your resources. So I saved up to start using a uh, Instacart, which is like a delivery service, so that I don't have to go to the grocery store with my kids. I do an Instacart order once a week, and it actually calculated out. It does save me money in the long run. I tend to like buy things that are like buy one, get one free, and that are on sale, but it just saves me so much time, money, and stress <laughs> taking the kids to the grocery store, uh, and remembering a mask for the kids, and things like that. Um, use your resources, care.com for um, if you need help in your house cleaning and um, if you need help with child care um, or other types of delivery services, maybe find a dry cleaner that delivers if you go to the dry cleaner often. But use your resources, um, find your resources, and this is a great way to simplify your life. Number 16 is eliminate whatever is distracting you from exercising and making healthier choices. So if you come home from work and you always just turn on Netflix and start re-watching episodes of something or um, re-watch all your box sets of The Office or something to decompress, that's keeping you from maybe using that time to just take a walk and decompress from the day and get a little bit of exercise at the same time. So maybe eliminate that thing that you think is like, oh, it's, it's just what helps me relax. Well, you can eliminate it, go outside, decompress, and de-stress from your day and also get exercise at the same time. Eliminate what's keeping you from exercising and making healthier choices. Number 17, start some sort of fitness or workout routine, even if it's super simple, 
Um, I like to use the Asana Yoga app. They have like this free five minute yoga thing every day and I do have five minutes and I could do some stretches and some of them are a little bit more like intense where it like works on your core and I like actually start sweating. <laughs> and some of them are more like relaxed stretches but um, definitely start a routine where you do things in a row. One of the best apps that I have found to uh, motivate you to exercise is called Paceline Fit. Um, I'll put a link down below to a referral code that I have with them so you can get everything for free and it actually rewards you for working out. I'm not even joking. I, try I thought it was a scam and I tried it and it actually worked. <laughs> so you have to like hit 150 minutes of exercise at the end of every week and then you get a reward and it's in like gift cards to Amazon, Whole Foods, Nike, um, Dunkin Donuts, uh, sun basket, kind bars. Like there's a bunch of things that you can get rewards from it. That one's really motivating. <laughs> Number 18, schedule time with extended family or friends that are long distance. Number 19, schedule time for the people in your house. I'm going to spend an hour with my husband this morning. I'm going to spend an hour playing catch or swinging my kids in the backyard. If you don't schedule it, sometimes it will not happen and days will go by and more days will go by and months and years. Schedule time with the people that you love. We need to be very conscious in this life and in this time where we are constantly distracted. Number 20, I suggest this to everybody who wants to like take steps towards minimalism and want to simplify their life. Create a vision board of what you want your life to look like, what you want your body to look like, your daily life to look like, where do you want to live? Create a vision board of your dream life and then take steps towards making it a reality. Okay, so my last tip, my 21st tip for 21 ways to becoming more of a minimalist in 2021 is to begin journaling. I journal in the morning and at night. It really helps me focus and it really helps me uh, stick to my goals because it's almost like a self-diagnosis time. So in the morning after I do like a little quick meditation that I find somewhere on YouTube or something, I sit down and I start writing out how I want my life to look, how I want my day to look, and how simple I want it to be. And this really helps me focus. And I do it again at nighttime and I also kind of review what I said before. In this time and age and year that we are constantly distracted and we're so aware of what is happening in the world and happening in our friends' lives on social media, we are so distracted. And there's also a million ways to be entertained now. So in this time that we are so distracted, it's really important to sort of give up those distractions and focus. I think journaling is the best way to do that. Maybe that's just me. You try it and see if it works for you. Um, but it's really working for me. So thank you so much for watching this video and for being interested in my minimalist channel. I really just make these videos because I wanna help you live a simpler life. If you want more free resources, I have articles and pictures on my blog, megfort.com, and I'm very active on social media. I'd love to be your friend on social media, whatever it is, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, Twitter, all the things, I'm there. I'll put links below um, to all of those. And thank you so much for watching. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel for more. I will see you next time. Bye.